second. Okay, I That's bet it's great. I bet it's started now. Everybody hi. say hi, whoever's watching this video. Hi, nobody. Hi. Nobody's watching this video. Watching this video. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so yesterday, uh, whoever's watching this video, if anybody's watching this video, 7-1, uh, I wrote down some things. Uh, you can pause this video and you can write down that stuff right there that I have written down. Uh, and I'll scroll down to the bottom so you can write this stuff down too. But I did not videotape. Uh, I kind of forgot, but we'll blame it on the fact that I've been having recording issues lately. So here's this. So basically what happens with this stuff in example, like example two, let's say, this thing right here, okay, you people who are in class, uh, help me answer this question. This guy right here, if we look at what is trapped, like what cannot be canceled out, what is trapped? Help me out. Well, I'll underline it for them. What is trapped? In yeah. example two, just look at my example two right here. Yep, he is trapped because he has pluses and minuses. What else is trapped? The one right below it. The one right below it, right? Yeah, the x squared plus 6x yeah. plus 8, okay? So these two guys, they can reduce, they can cancel, right? So what we did here was we said, okay, the x from the bottom can cancel with one of the x's from the top. This top guy, though, is a trinomial. He needs to be broken down before we try to cancel him. So we did x minus 7 and x plus 2 which is really nice because he does cancel with part of the bottom, right? Excuse me, x squared plus 6x plus 8 was x plus 2 and x plus 4. So we cross those guys out, and then all we have left over is this piece, okay? And I told them yesterday, if you were gone or whatever, or watching this video, you can go ahead and multiply those back through if you want to, to get like x squared, oh, my pen's running out, x squared minus 7x, but you don't have to. Right? You can just leave it this way, and this is probably easier for me to check. Uh, but then we also said that x can't be negative 4 because if he was negative 4, then I would end up with 0 on the bottom. Right? And that's where he's undefined. So that is bad. Okay? So this is kind of the gist of what we did on this front side. Now, that is not the title of the section. The title of the section is multiplying and dividing, and we have yet to do that. We haven't even multiplied and divided yet. This has just been simplifying. Okay? They've taken one little piece right here, and they've simplified it down. This is where we're going to actually be multiplying, okay? So look at A, example A on, on or part A on, exa on example four, and we're trying to break this guy down, and here we are multiplying. So we have two of them, this one and this one, okay? And yesterday, we kind of went over an example where I said like two-thirds and uh, three-fourths. If we are multiplying those together, you can do shortcuts. You would multiply the tops together and the bottoms together, right, to make six over 12, or you can cross the threes out and reduce the two and the four to be one and two. So that just makes one half, okay? So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to reduce this stuff before we put it together if we can. Uh, but it's going to really help to have nice, good handwriting. So uh, that's, that's one thing, okay? So we want to try to make this as least messy as possible. And what I always start with is the numbers. So I have my numbers. 6, 15, 5, and 8. We're going to compare those. Okay? So 5 and 15 will become 1 and 3, right? 1 and 3. The 6 and 8, those will reduce also if I divide both of them by 2. 3 and 4. Okay. So on the top, let's see what we have. For numbers, we have 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 times 4 is 4, right? Okay? Okay? 9 over 4. All right. We're just going to leave it as 9 over 4. We're not going to change it to 2 and 1 fourth, okay? Now we have to deal with, like, uh, the variables and stuff. So I have an A down here, and there are no other A's, okay? So I'm just going to have an A on the bottom here, okay? This D right here on the bottom, there's two D's on the top. So I'm going to cross out the bottom D, and I'm going to cross out one of the top D's. So now I have a D on the top, okay? And there's a C squared on top that won't cancel with any of the bottoms, so that's my final answer. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't like to do it that way. A lot of people will do this instead, okay? Rather than reducing it, because that gets kind of messy, crossing out all this junk and stuff up here, what they will do is they will write it all together. So they will take 6 times 15, which is 90. C times C is C squared. D squared on the bottom, six times, or no, five times eight is 40, and then I have A times D, okay? Before I reduce anything, 
if I just multiply them, it looks like this. The junior high boys' locker room is going to be everything locked up or taken out. Um, that locker room will be tonight to make sure that everything is locked down for the So, if you are one of those people who thinks this is too messy, go ahead and multiply them together and now we can reduce. So, 90 over 40, you can see that those two zeros can cross off, right? Okay. And then the only other thing that will cross off is one of these D's will cancel with one of those D's. So, I have 9 over 4, C squared D over A, right? That's what he will look like. Okay. All right, we're going to do that. The same thing on part B. Are any of these, we forgot to ask this, are any of these things trapped no. on part B? No. No, because there's no plus signs, right? Okay. Now, there is one weird thing for part B, and it is this guy. What does this thing mean? Divide. Divide, which means we need to keep, flip, flip. Okay? Keep, flip, flip. I, I asked, uh, so the fifth grade class did this yesterday. And uh, I said, what does divide mean? Like when we're dividing by a fraction. And uh, she got so excited. Kelsey was like, keep, 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 keep. I'm like, keep everything. Keep, 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 keep. No, you have to keep and then flip and then flip. She was just so excited. She's like, oh, keep, 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 keep. And she couldn't think of the other word. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. So anyway. She was like, Kelsey? Keep, keep, keep. Keep it all. Uh, kind of. <laughs> right. So there's that. Okay, so the, the first one is what we're going to keep. We're going to keep the first one the same. We're going to flip to multiply. Pray write this down. Pray write this down. Pray write this down. This is the flip part. We're flipping to multiplication, and we're flipping this guy around so that he is uh, 35a squared b over 12x squared y. Okay? Now we're going to put some stuff together. Okay? Wait, can't so, you cross out those? No, you can't. Let's cross out a few things first, okay? okay? 18 and 12 becomes 9 and 6. Uh, oh, wait, but you can... Divide them by 6s, okay? Three. Oh. So just wait a second. 18 and 12 divided by 6s, okay? 3 and 2. This guy will be 3 and 2, okay? 7 and 35 becomes 1 five and, and one. 5. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, write this down and quit, quit yapping. So 3 and 5 and 1 and 2, Yeah. Yeah. So four numbers on the top, I will have 15 over 2. 15 over 2. That's what I have. Okay, now, I'm going to do this just because I sometimes my stuff gets really messy. Let's write everything from the top and write everything from the bottom, and then we'll cross stuff out, okay? So on the top, and you can do this a different way, I don't care, but I just get really messy if I start crossing too many things out. So let's cross the numbers out, which we just did, and now we'll write in a squared b, x, y cubed. That's just combining the top. Does it Bottom, matter what way you write it them? does not matter what way you write them. Okay? It, it kind of helps to go in alphabetical order, but it doesn't really matter. So now I have this, and now it might be easier to see which ones will cancel. Right? Cross out okay. the A's. Okay? No. So that's what he looks like to start with. We just combined, and now we're going to cross stuff off. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, but a lot of people kind of prefer this over crossing too many things out because then they'll forget stuff. Okay? Okay, so the A squareds cross out. Those are gone now. Okay, what about and the Bs? One B on the one bottom. B so B will only be one B on the bottom. And then one. Oh, hold on, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't really see it. One X on the bottom. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Yeah, two so two X on the bottom will become one. Just one X on the bottom. Two Ys. Yeah, Y squared. Two Ys on the top. Okay. So now we just put it all together. So yes. fifteen Y squared yeah. on the top. 2BX yep. on the bottom. There you go. That's it. Okay. Do so some people prefer it? that over crossing that up above because it just gets really messy. And I don't care how you do it. Just as long as you get it right. For these ones, right? do you have to oh, put right, what right. it can't be? No. No. But no. Because there's no, no plus in there. Only if they ask. Only if they ask. And they this, ask one, this one they won't ask for. No, it doesn't ask for this. Be because this one has more than one variable. It doesn't ask. Wait, so it doesn't ask. Okay. So who asked? I don't know. Oh, wow. All right, now, these ones are different in example five because these ones are one. Polynomials. Trinomials. They are trapped. They are all trapped. Okay? Oh. So every single one of these pieces is trapped. Oh. Right? Every single one. And we have to be careful when we're doing this, okay? So we are multiplying those together. But basically what we're going to do is just break everything down that we can, okay? So I've got those two pieces, right? 
And I'm going to start with this top part, x squared minus 6x minus 16. So get your thinking, get, get your factoring brains on. Two. Get your factoring brains on. Emma's already got it figured out. Multiply I'm to get 16, to add to get 6. Doing. x minus 8, x plus 2, yeah? And then the <laughs> okay. Both negative 8. Right, right. Multiply to get 64, add to get negative 16. Both of them are negative 8s. Now you can cross the 8. This way. Don't cross anything out. If, if you get too far ahead of yourself, you'll, you'll skip steps, okay? So write everything out and then cross, okay? Write everything. You are right. It will cross. But write everything okay. out and then cross, okay? I, that's just my suggestion to you because I have people that get ahead of themselves and then they forget stuff. So on the bottom, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's factor him down. Plus 3x plus 2. x plus 3x plus 2. So 3 times 2 will give you 6. 3 plus 2 will give you 5. That's good. Now minus you can start eight. crossing minus things out. Top and bottom. Minus 8, minus 8. Oh, yeah. and that one crosses out with that one. And there's also a minus 8, minus 8 there, and right? And a 2 and a 2, so it's only x plus oh, 3. Oh, my gosh. It's so it's only over x, plus x plus 3. Okay? This is how the, this is how the other x class wrote their answer, and I said that's not right. It's because x plus 3 is in the bottom, and there's nothing on the top, one so we over. still have to write a so 1. Then, would it be x cannot be negative 3? x cannot be negative 3. Okay? They didn't ask for that, but if they do, x can't be negative 3 in that case. Yeah? Okay? Good. All right. So, this is all the same thing. Part B is the same thing again. So, this guy right here, all we're wanting to do is we are wanting to, uh, like, break him down except this guy. Pay attention to him. He keep means flip flip. keep flip flip. Keep, so keep 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 keep. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's say x squared minus six. So we're gonna flip these two. That's basically what we're gonna do, and we're gonna make him uh, multiply. All right. So let's deal. Let's do this part first. Okay. If I'm factoring this top one down, x squared minus twelve x plus thirty two. What do you multiply to get thirty two? But when you add them, give you negative twelve. Six and six. Eight, 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 four, eight, four. 8 and 4, six, that gives 36. Oh, I thought it was 36. So it's 8 and 4. Now, I want to make sure I put that on the bottom, right? Because that's flipped around, okay? So x minus 8, x minus 4, okay? So I'm flipping that. That top part's going to go down to the bottom, yeah? Okay? This top part, we factored him down. He came down to the bottom. So let's do the bottom one now. y squared minus 3y minus 18. Multiply to get 18, add to get 3. 6 and 3. Negative 6 and 3. No. Yep. Uh, yeah. Negative 6 and positive 3. Negative 6 times 3 is 18. Negative 6 times 3 is, or plus 3 is negative 3. Okay, stop. All right, now let's deal with the other ones. So, uh, x squared minus 16. He is special. It's a square. It's a difference of squares. Okay? So, what's the square root of 16? So, one of them is plus, one of them is minus. Okay? Now, the bottom one, 12y plus 36. What did I do there? This what is, is this? Was right. This is a greatest common factor. We're going to pull out a... Six. Let's pull out a 12. Oh, yeah. Right? Because you betcha. Then it's just y plus 3. Where's, okay. where's my chair? Now that everything okay. has been broken down, so this is the fast part. Now that everything's broken down. This x is minus 4, x minus 4. x minus 4, x minus 4. Okay, got it. x plus 3 or y plus 3. y plus 3, y plus 3. Yeah, I did. Is that it? Yes. Can I cross out this 12 with this 6? No. Why not? Trapped. The 12 is not trapped. Yeah, but the 6 is. But the 6 is. Okay. So all I have left on the top is x plus 4, y minus 6. On the bottom, 12 what? and x minus 8. What? Oh, I see. Right? And x can't, whoop, x and can't be 8. X can't be 8. 8. Right? If they ask for that, right? X can't be 8. Are we good so far? Yeah. All of this stuff is breaking down, so you really need to know how to break down your trinomials, okay? Uh, all of those, okay? And greatest common factor and difference of squares. Those are huge, okay? All right, let's go. Um, I'm just going to go straight to part B here. Oh, except, well, I don't like it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, except, this is this is really easy. I'm going to switch the bottom instead of y minus x. I'm going to do x minus y because I don't want to deal with that. Flip. Okay, just wait. Yeah, just wait. Okay. It's just really so, weird. So fix this. I don't like the y minus x, so change that to x minus y because I don't want to deal with that. Okay. So now what we have is we have a fraction on the top right here, just right? Write it. Yeah, that's and we I have a it. fraction on the bottom, and we have a bar in between them. What does this bar mean? Divide. Oh. That means divide. So keep flip, flip. keep flip flip. So I'm going to keep this guy x squared over 
x squared minus y squared. And I'm going to flip that to multiply, but I'm going to flip the bottom as well. So x minus y is here, and 4x is here. Okay? So now he just looks exactly the way that he did before. Wait now, here's the deal. Minute. Can I cancel this x with one no. of those and this y with one of those? No. Why not? Because it's, they're trapped. They're trapped. They're trapped, right? Okay, but look at this guy. Can you do that? Yeah. He is a... Difference of squares. Difference of squares. What will he look like? X minus y, x minus y? Close. X plus y, x minus y. X plus y, x minus y. Right? One's plus, one's and minus. Then you can cross them out. Now you can cross them out. So now you can cross an x minus y out, right? And okay. that's the answer? And what else can I do? You can take an x out of both of them. I can take an x out here and a, an x out top here. Okay? So what I want you to do. Well, I'm answering the phone. Right with you. Right with you. Um, so we canceled an x with one of the x's here, and that made yeah. What's on top? Yeah. Uh, x. Just x, right? What's on bottom? X plus y. The four. Yeah. I always put the four in the front, but it's not wrong if you put him in the back. I always put four x plus y. Yeah. Hitting a golf ball. Sorry, that my bad. That's all. That's all. That's all you can do. Okay. Good. When you hit balls and yes, there's yes. someone over okay. there, you I'm gonna to stop there. Four. That's it. Four. Okay. So on, I have been recording on your homework assignment, uh, which you I gave to you yesterday, I think. Um, let's see. Here we go. This is your homework assignment. So if people are watching the video, here's the homework. I thought you said you stopped. On it. the front side. Uh, oh, skills practice. Do 1 through 10 all. They are really fast. They don't take very long. Oh, yeah, they no, really don't. That. They really don't. Okay. Um, now, what I want you to do really quick for me is look at number 3 on skills practice. Okay. Because Ooh. there is parentheses there. Well, you, uh, have to distribute the three you have to distribute the 3 first. Okay, so here's my question. People get this confused a lot. Is this x to the 9th on the top or x to no. the 12th or the 18th on the top? 18. Okay, well, it, it would be x to the ninth if it said this, right? Yes. That would be x to the ninth, but this guy is x to the twelfth, okay? Or eighteenth, sorry, eighteenth. Uh, on the bottom is x to the twelfth. twelfth. Okay, so then what do you do? x to the sixth. Yeah, twelve one. of these will cancel with twelve of those, so I'll have six left on the top. top. Now, one. if you put it over one, that's okay. Otherwise, you can just write it as x to the sixth power. Does Whoa, that make sense? Isn't that these are really fast. Oh, okay? so the other one? So be careful of that. If they have a parentheses like this, you have to make sure you distribute it first. Okay? Uh, so do all of them on skills practice in the evens, just the evens. So this column right here, just the, e no, even, not the even. Odds. I said odds. That's what I meant. That's what yeah. I meant. Odds. Odds on the other side. Okay? Uh, you told us evens odds on the no, other side. she told me odds okay? and I got the my little, new The little now. hint that I gave you for this one, since you're dividing by 21G to the third, Make him into a fraction and put him over 1. And then when you keep flip-flip, he is 1 over 21g to the third. Okay? So make him into a fraction. That's my little hint for number 11. Okay, but it is odds on the back side, all on the front side. Do those for homework. They are not hard. And I'm going to stop the video. Okay.